stress And when they lose, we call they phone like yes That hate, if he bust downs and clutch on poles, he lost for me I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit Now on my top, so nigga, what you won't do? I'm with some niggas with no name, when you say something, they like, ooh Don't know who I want, you the one I want, mm. What up, gang? I'm bite with another one. You read that title. You already know what's going on, man. Listen, man. This shit crazy, man. This shit is crazy. Spot him, got him. Was shot. Leaving the studio in Miami last night. He was followed and shot on the highway. He was hit five times. He now in stable condition. He was in critical condition. He's slowly recovering. He in stable condition. This shit crazy, man. This shit crazy. You know what's going down in Jacksonville over there. He just did an interview with uh Say Cheese and you know he was speaking on a lot of stuff. But I tell y'all, I just made a video talking about how rappers be dropping their location and exposing where they at. I ain't saying he did, but Somebody had to drop that location, go live or do something to know that he was at that studio. And a call had to be made because he from Jacksonville. He got Jacksonville beef. So how was he followed and shot up in Miami? You feel what I'm saying? Now, I ain't saying it's, it's, it's impossible for his ops to be in Miami. But what I'm saying is, the guys who he beefing with, these are some Jacksonville dudes that's in the hood. You feel what I'm saying? They ain't moving around. You feel what I'm saying? That's why a lot of shit go down where you from because... Your, your ops don't have the money like you to move around once you make it. So nine times out of ten, only way they could catch you is when you at your home in your hometown. But for him to get shot up, followed in Miami, somebody had to reach out. Somebody had to make a call. Trust me. Somebody made that call. Somebody knew he was at the studio. One of his homies done dropped their location. Knew he was at the studio. And one of them dudes he beefing with done made a call to whoever they got in Miami and let them know, hey, we need this help. Mark my words. And... This shit getting scared. Because every time I make a video and say what not to do, I follow up with another video. Something that went down the exact way what I said not to do. This shit getting scared, man. My brother called me one time and he say, man, listen. I forgot what situation went down. I made a video about one of the rappers. And I'm like, man, this such and such, such and such right here, Blase Squaze, they shouldn't do this. My next video I made a couple days later, he was dead. My brother called me and told me, man, listen, it's like you. It's like you speaking shit into existence. And I ain't, y'all, if y'all watch my videos, you know I don't talk bad about nobody. I tell y'all what not to do. Because I'm not like the other bloggers. I'm not here to criticize these people. I'm not here to talk down on these artists and these celebrities. What I am here to do is to report the story and give positive energy of what you should do. So people that watch this video and hear my voice cannot follow in these footsteps. I just made a video on that. With your uh, Memphis rapper. Check that video out. Put it right here on the screen. Showing off where he at. Get shot. It's, it's where he was at got shot up. While he was on live. Duke Deuces. 
But you know what I'm saying? I pray that uh Spider got him full recovery. It's crazy, man. If you haven't, check out my other video. I just dropped. You got your boy. Where's the wizard? Was shot and killed today. Y'all know he was going back and forth with Kodak. That's one of the Kodak affiliates. He was going back and forth with Kodak, trying to get out his contract with Kodak. Unfortunately, he lost his life.